Die Buster good. Yeah, it really is. Die Busters is just too big of a bop. Also, hello Rem. Hello Arensica. Uh 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 oh. I still can't believe how not ready I was. I was so... I, I was... Did I kill that pretentious gay artist yet? <laughs> I did! I killed him so fucking hard. I killed the absolute living fuck out of him. Sad to lose one of our own, but it had to be done. It's true, you're right. You know, we gotta... Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe not say what I was about to say, but, you know... We, we, gotta, we gotta trim the fat. You know, some, some pieces of the puzzle just aren't needed sometimes. I'm so excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. That comes out in like 12 days. You have bad news about the director of FLCL slash Die Buster, by the way. His only other directional works are the Ava rebuilds. Oh God. Okay, chill out. I didn't even mean to do that. I mean, it's almost done. <clears throat> Man, FLCL is really fucking good too. It's a it's a good thing I'm just like I'm used to FLCL at this point, so it won't kill me. But God, if I had not watched FLCL yet, that shit would would hit me. What's what's wrong here? You should have waited for FLCL? Dude. It's it's the sound, it's the pillows. The pillows is scream are screaming and that shit kills. Crazy sunshine? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, dude! <laughs> I'm glad we're on the exact same wavelength right there. If I ever pick up a guitar again, it's going to be either to learn flamenco or to learn, like, electric guitar. That way I can just fucking play all the shitty anime music I'd ever want. I know literally nothing about it, but I also really like um, Hitting America from Beck. When the chips are down, few can really swing the bet. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if, if now is the time for my, my headcanon of FLCL. 
But I have I have really shitty headcanon for FLCL. That I don't know. Strength it makes it so much cooler to me. Sebastian <coughs> Castellanos. You finally We'll wait, we'll wait. I've been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? My followers call me Father Theodore. I hope that you will call me that too, Fred. I've been waiting for you, friends. Another lunatic with a god complex, huh? I already killed one of you today. <laughs> of course you did. That is how you deal with every challenge in your life. Oh my God. From brute force and intimidation. And look where it has led you. Into a hell of your own making. Lower your weapon. Use your mind instead of your fists for once. We have the same goals. Sebastian. Yeah, no, I was about to say, this guy's kind of raw. I'm interested. I'm interested in where this I is going. I could tell you, but you are. <coughs> you must be folded into my flock before I can share that knowledge. I said, tell me where she is. Accept my invitation. I can lead you away from your own darkness. I can lead you to Lily. Sorry, I'm not a follower. So be it. You have Join so the Discord for the download type the guy. You're not wrong. I showed you the path here. You must learn that I am here to help. Return to me willingly. Then we can assume our natural role. Not as adversaries, but as allies. Farewell for now, Sebastian. I'm really interested. So, as long as this game doesn't put me in another open world, I'm so fucking ready for this game. I want to scream if I don't. If I get another open world, I'm gonna lose it. I'm actually gonna lose it. woke up about time like this I'm, I'm i'm down for this you know could use a little help here you know how to use a gun right take that side keep shooting until they're dead or we run out of ammo dude you mean a third open world segment you know i've already been in two right what the hell is going on? hidden from the start Oh my god. Not today, sucker. You shot her woman? <laughs> White women detected. <laughs> Not so bad yourself. Or is she a Latina? Looks like you've done this before. Too many times. Got Latina detected. Grab some supplies while you can. I can hear more coming. Alright. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. One of my friends said that when we were playing Fortnite once, and it's lived rent-free in my head ever since. I hate it. Yeah, no, her name just says woman. Check the back. I can hear more on the way. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, they broke through so fast. Plus I am! Holy shit! 
I didn't go I wasn't gonna shoot the barrel. Yeah, damn it, that hurt. You shot it, dumbass. Luis, if he had breasts, based, based, based. Plus am! Plus am! Aim for the head. Takes less ammo. You remember that guy from Chowder that said Blazam? <laughs> and then like And like Mung gave Chowder a, a, a catchphrase, but it was just slurs. That was crazy. Watch out for what? What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh, what you fucking whore! I shot the wrong bolt. Can I inject you with a syringe? Come on. <laughs> we gotta keep moving. What? Oh, no, okay, I guess she's fine. Thanks. Don't know if I could have done that on my own. I'm Esmeralda Torres. I'm... Sebastian. <laughs> I know. You do? It looks like we got him for now. We should make a move before more show up. <clears throat> How did I wind up here? <clears throat> no time for 20 questions. My safe house isn't too far. I Let's like her. Way there. Come on. Take whatever you need inside. I'll be out here. I mean, I think I was expected to take a lot more hits because there's like four syringes in here. Try to stay quiet. There might be more of those. Things. Union Nature Preserve, huh? All you're saying is Sev has a great record of keeping his partners alive. He does! Except, I mean, Mira's still alive too, actually. So I was going to say, except for that one time, but... Getting Lily out of here. And then, taking Mobius down for good. Yo! She's based? Wait a second. What is it? Except for Joseph. That's right! I honestly totally forgot about Joseph and his samurai sword desk. Poor Joseph. Let me guess. The way back to your safe house. Just climb over it. There might be another way. Children. Wait, hold on. Your plan. Kidman didn't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front of everybody. Duh. <laughs> over here. One I'm gonna. Has got a lift while the other one crawls through. It's gonna be a third. It's gonna be a third open world God, segment. I'll just. Whoa, you all right? Let Get me your help. ass through before I drop it on your head. Duh. Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. She kind of bad though. You need a break after that old man. Come on. I'm not that old. I like her. So you're telling me I hope she lives. To take out Mobius all this time. Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's <clears throat> She's part of Mobius. This is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. 
Haha, I'm faster than you while crouching. You should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years. That's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. I feel like this is a pretty cheap way to do these reveals. Yeah, of course. Ready? Yo! Hold on, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Like these, these are, yeah, this, these are like insanely huge bombs they're dropping. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What? You thought I'd leave you hanging like that? That was a good jump. What's this man's vertical? Holy shit. Uh, you're a part of the plan now. Hello, Sev. You missed uh, gigantic lore drops that were just casually dropped. Was involved in this little mutiny. Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? Yeah. We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were going to get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of stun safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Oh no. But yeah, so we knew Mira was alive. What is it? <coughs> oh god. But uh, Torres just dropped the bomb on us that uh, Mira has been in here planning to take down Mobius all along and Kidman is on our side also trying to take down Mobius and she's also trying to take down Mobius and Father Theodore just double-crossed everyone. And they just kind of casually dropped out while walking through a cave. So that's fun. This looks- this dude looks badass. What the fuck? Okay, that sword is stupid as shit. Oh, it's not a sword. It's a flamethrower. That flamethrower is tight as fuck. This dude's a badass. So much for your safe house. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. Titan, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right, but listen, I've seen these things before. Don't get near them while they're on fire. Why? They're on fire right now. What am I supposed to do? Okay, now it's not on fire. Oh, fuck! It cheated! That was cheap. That was cheap. You're glad it wasn't DD2? Dragon's Dogma 2's not out for another, uh, what, 12 days? The subtitle said woman again? Goth Latina detected.
Dumbass! Oh, interesting. I can't play it, so I haven't kept up. I'm so excited. I can't believe it took me so long to play DD1, honestly. I had the wrong thing equipped. Yeah, just shoot the absolute living fuck out of him. Ow. Holy shit, that dealt so much damage. Is he just done? Mans is done fighting. Why did he just... <laughs> he got bored. He needed to go looking for subway surfers. You know, I, I, I get it. I can't blame him. Dude, I'm... Dude, I'm so fucking winning. Like, 100%. I played DD1 completely blind, and then... Like, weeks later, they're like, hey, DD2 announcement date. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm so blessed. Please go out, please go out, please go out. He's probably gonna catch again soon. Oh look, they all catch at the oh never mind. I was gonna say they all catch at the same time, but that one was just fading into the, the darkness. Bonk! Nice and quick. Bonk! See ya, bitch! I'm really glad AI teammates don't alert the enemies. Capcom Capcom knew better. But it's also very funny. I think, I think she didn't engage because we were technically not in combat yet. Because I did get, like, that really quick runaway, so he instantly lost track of me. So she went into, like, she re-entered stealth mode, I think. I swear there is a syringe over here. Maybe I imagined it. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's probably the other way. I saw like the little opening. I was like, oh, I'm probably supposed to like sneak through these branches, huh? Oh. I think I killed everything. The pouch. Man, I sure wish I had sniper rifle ammo. I'm pretty sure I haven't had any for a long, long time. And I'm not making it. It's not worth it. Like, what, nine gunpowder for a bullet? I want to fight Mr. Gas Mask. Well, that's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. What is she talking about? I fired off like seven bullets, maybe. Why is she so judgmental? There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. <laughs> I like her still. What are you do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have Ugh. affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him, maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you going to do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. Doot, 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 doot. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. <coughs> huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. What do you mean you Just gotta try and find him? Ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. I'm actually gonna lose it if I have to go back to Union again. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I can't, I can't go back to Union. I'm so over it. This journal is written in a neat, feminine hand. The most recent entry reads as follows. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Mira and Theodore to return. Time is a sketchy concept inside STEM. Even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just want whoever 
finds this diary to know that I'm that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago, something that I regret. That's why I'm here now, waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption. And maybe at starting a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end no matter what. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help. Like Kidman told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I can hope I find him if he gets sent inside. Damn, so they were talking about... They were talking about... Uh, Seb... Even before he... Like... Came in here. What is this? Oh, it's a smoke. Yo, Frostbolt? Give me more dialogue. Give me more lore. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put <laughs> those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. He <laughs> lobotomy. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace <coughs> get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah, I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend until they stab you in the back. <clears throat> no lobotomy like. So I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies again. And there's these mods you gotta check out. What? Why? Check it out. Look at this one. It's bendy. He shoots wrenches. Oh, that's cool. But why not ink? Oh, that's a good point. But check this one out. Whoa, dude. I know, right? The game would go viral. But check this out. It's John Pork. I was in a tidal wave of blood <laughs> hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. No, I'm just kidding. But check this one out. No, it's an Ender P. It shoots Minecraft blocks. <laughs> that shit, I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's so, it's so bad. When's the smash or pass Plants vs. Zombies stream? Please, God, no. <sighs> Hello, Rick Fernello.
You just missed the the fucking lobotomy. <laughs> Probably for the best. Probably for the best. <coughs> So I need to go into the marrow. It's probably in a little side room, right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit, more high grade weapon parts. I'm probably not gonna use them. All I wanna upgrade is my pistol because the shotgun sucks piss. Oh, I'm pretty far off still. Actually, I have frost bolts now. Freezing area of effect persists for a short time. It's kind of godlike. I might upgrade those because. Oh, how much? How much does it cost? Yeah, just condensers is not that bad. <clears throat> Explosive bolts and freeze bolts are probably goaded as fuck. Um, I don't really need anything right now, so I'll just save it. And what? How much green goop do I got? 13,000? Not worth. She said she left stuff in my room. Maybe it's like all the way in the room? <laughs> Jesus. Oh look, another slide. Oh, look, look, look. Um, here she is. Right? No, that's Yukiko Hoffman. Wait, what's... Torres isn't even on this board. That's cool. Spiritual I... leader and motivational speaker. <laughs> no wonder he was able to convince everyone... You never trust motivational... Motivational speakers. Why would you ever trust a motivational speaker? Maybe this world preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his MO. Maybe this world doesn't have like cryptocurrency yet. <clears throat> uh let's see. Does the universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is conspiring to distract you with shiny but unattainable baubles in an effort to distract you from the truth? Are you convinced you're the only one who feels this way? Then the Moo Center, Mew? Mew Center is for you. Come throw off the shackles of modern society. Meet others of a similar mindset. Create a better reality. The reality that you want, not the one that they want for you. Mew, we're waiting for you. For the low, low price of $12,000. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. This is like kind of a raw headline. Silver tongued angel or guardian devil. <clears throat> when you fe first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the covers of a series of best-selling self-help books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oasis. Oasis? Known as Mew Centers. But what lurks behind his friendly and benevolent demeanor? While some consider Wallace a guru, others, religious watchdogs, and more disturbingly, family members of Mew Center congregate, congregate gints, consider him nothing more than a modern-day cult leader. I think we're gonna have to kill this guy. Damn. Talked himself right into the middle of the plan. Just it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. What does that mean? This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. That's so mean to say. I've had a serious conversation with Mira. Mira, I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. Hold on, I want to get like a closer look up. Like what? <laughs> oh, damn it, I can't. <laughs> Alright, yeah. 
Yeah. He's got a point. <laughs> he's a he's an asshole, but he's got a point. Yeah. That's really funny. What what these little things are. They scare me though. Hey Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. Yeah. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. I definitely missed a slide and I don't know where. Thanks, Kitty. Thanks, Kitty. <laughs> oh no, it's 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 Seb's it's Seb's stem kitten. Seb, no, don't get them stem nitro. It's not worth it. I like the marrow. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's just all of them this time. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Nice. I really, really like this. I like this game again. This game, I don't know. I think it's stellar when you're in linear sections. Like the linear sections do a lot of cool stuff. But man, the open world sucks so hard. Huh? 
Hoffman, you here? Is that you? Uh oh. Another one of these. What happened here? Liam, is that you? Liam, is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you? Did you see that? Okay. I understand. You like dabbed. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow. That doesn't sound like him. Time <clears throat> has a concept inside of STEM has always been tricky, but the disappearance of the core and the collapse of Union has amplified this tenfold. Changes here have become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security cameras. Not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting, items appearing seemingly from nowhere, creatures that defy imagination wandering the halls. I'm not leaving this safe house until I have a damned good reason to do it. But who knows how long a safe house can remain safe in here. Entrance to Post Plus? I don't think I know what Post Plus is. This door has got to be locked, right? Oh my god. Hello. Can anybody hear me out there? Sykes? You're still in here? Are you okay? Sebastian, just the man I was looking for. But I'm okay, but I can really use your help back here. It'll be worth your while. Oh. I should probably go to his safe room and see what's going on. Mission start! A lot of shit. A lot of stuff here. It must be a trap. It must be a trap. I got I just got way too much stuff for doing nothing. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah, 
The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. <laughs> Bam. Conspiracy theorists lose again. <clears throat> okay, I was gonna say, I need 800 weapon parts. have so many fuses. There's the guy. Holy shit. He just kicked me. Dude, how are you not dead still? I'm starting to think I can't kill this guy. Oh god, I didn't think that was gonna hit me. Yeah, wait, this sucks. Why couldn't I hit him more? Yeah, I don't think I can kill this guy. That's that's stupid. I should be able to kill him now.
Right now! I should be able to kill this guy. Now! Like the biggest, oh, maybe I'm supposed to like use those like nitrogen takes, tanks or something. Wait, how did you get over here? I think I lost them. See you, bitch. Get out of my way. You're here. Good. Dude, it's What's fucking crazy out there. I'm sort of busy here. Hey, you're the one who told me to call you before I left. You found your back door. Check it out. Congrats. You'll have to show me how to use it if I need to get Lily out later. Fair enough, but here's the deal. I'm gonna need you to help me get out of here first. Help you? I don't know anything about how these computers work, Sykes. That's not what I need help with. I hacked the servers to access a restricted area of STEM. There's a pod in there that I'm gonna use to get out of here. Problem is, the power's out. And there are a bunch of those things in there, too. Damn collapse is affecting the deepest parts of STEM. You get the power back on and clear the place out for me. I can get the hell out of here. Again, what's in it for me? I'll show you how to use the pod before I go. How's that? Okay. Worth a try, I guess. Thanks, man. Call me when it's all clear. I gotta tell you, I was surprised to hear from you. Tell me about it. I've been lying low to solve this back door thing, but I stuck my head out there a few times. Things are going nuts. What's happening out there? There's a maniac who's trying to take over Union. You were smart to stay in here. Otherwise, you might have ended up flayed and tortured. Sounds grim. Think I'll pass. What's worse is that the guy wants to get his hands on Lily. Well, if this plan works out, you'll be able to get her to safety once you find her. How did a guy like you end up in Mobius in the first place? A guy like me? 
What are you trying to say? I'm saying that you've got heart and a backbone. Seems they prefer their operatives to be either cold reptiles or unquestioning followers. You're neither. What did you think I meant? Uh, nothing. Never mind. You know, I actually searched them out to try and join. It wasn't easy either. They know how to hide their tracks. Why would you do that? They're only the most powerful organization in the history of the world, dude. Why wouldn't I? And you don't consider what they do to be criminal? Hey, it's only criminal when it's enforced. You know what they say. He's custodiat ipsos custodes. Right? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word for it. I like that. That was a nice little conversation. Oh, hey, filled up the box again. God damn, I'm almost at my 800. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Regular show coffee bean man. <clears throat> Jerry beans man. Let's do this before I get cold feet. I like how fast these loading screens are. I mean, that's probably in part to the SSD, but that's besides the point. Holy shit, that's a lot of weapon parts. This is going to be a fucking war, isn't it? How many handgun bullets do I got? I'm going I'm going back, going to a workbench and upgrading my pistol. This hole is pissed. I don't think there's a workbench in here. <clears throat> Man, I'm not excited to have to get all the way back to the main part of the game. Yeah, I still only have 1,500 gel, so it's like, what's even the point? What's even the point of going to level up? I don't think I have any more funny keys. I might have one. Wait, what is it? Sniper rifle ammo pouch. Another one? Assault rifle ammo pouch. I don't even have the assault rifle yet. Excuse me? Is that something I'm supposed to have by now? Did I miss something? I missed the assault rifle and prey too. I thought you were joking about the assault rifle and prey. I thought that was a joke! Looks 
looks abandoned. Spooky. Just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on. Oh. All right, see ya. The instant diagro, that's funny. kidding me right now turn around douchebag I meant to pick up his juice, not his axe. It's really funny just throwing bottles at people and then stabbing them in the brain. It's really stupid, though. This gameplay loop has become so fucked. But is it fun? No, not particularly. I think I'd be hard pressed to say I'm having, I don't know, I was having fun for like a few minutes.
This is it then. Better call Sykes. <laughs> Are there no enemies? Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on <laughs> If one of you just dies, is he just gonna die? And then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. Where the fuck is the assault rifle? Wow, he's actually gone. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. Ooh, a slide. Our attempt to use a stem pod as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Despite oh. the 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One in four test subjects made the trip back successfully. The other three simply ceased to be. <laughs> oh! We believe that the other 75% have been lost. In an uncharted sublevel of STEM. A dream within a dream. From which there is no known way to return. Yo. Due to the number of unknowns. Twice the barrels, twice the buckshot, twice the damage. Light and sturdy, but needs to be reloaded more often. Shotgun clip has the you know, The experiment has been abandoned. Twenty-five percent chance of success. I'm not gonna risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. Yeah, that sucks. What if he's just like in super hell now? That would be fucking horrible. It feels so bad. I'm gonna see him on a fucking, like, I'm gonna see him on fucking Big Bane, Big fucking Bang Theory stem version. And he's gonna be like, GIVE ME OUT! Bazinga, Bazinga, OUT! That's all he'll be able to say anymore. Poor bastard. Bazinga, Bazinga. Bazinga. Ba 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 bazinga. Fate <laughs> worse than death, exactly. What if that's where he is now? We don't know. What if he's a guest character on Young Sheldon? That's fucked. I'm sorry.
Why, Sebastian? <laughs> Does this like reset the world? Looks like it. He's about to light back up. Oh my god, it didn't go off. He's gonna light up soon. I was going to say, he's probably going to turn around soon. <clears throat> he's going to light back up soon. Damn, I actually had a lot of time. The next, the next extinguish, I'll get him. Seb, you should really do this a bit faster. Oh, that is such a cool design. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? I don't even need the assault rifle. The assault rifle is a weapon for children. Oh shit! I'm sorry, father. I lost him. Yeah, cause you're a stupid ass bitch. <laughs> this game makes me so toxic. Yeah, what the fuck? It's one big, long gamer moment. It really is. Oh boy, five weapon parts. Should've just gone this way. Yeah, there's more than one flame, flame in Warfer.
You wharf in flames. And they're unkillable? That's dumb as fuck. Maybe they're not unkillable, but they sure have like eight bazillion fucking health. You're in an alternate timeline where I played this on Nightmare? Am I dead? Am I dead in real life in that timeline? The PC did not survive. The damn shame. Dumb as fuck, dumb as fuck, dumb as fuck. I like how you can get sprint speed without a uh, without actually sprinting by just like bouncing between cover. It's like uh it's like gears. That's what you're supposed to do in gears also. You just bounce between cover for like maximum movement speed. Like a, it's like you're like role playing a pinball. Anyone else up for some pinball role play? I'll be the flippers. Who wants to be the bumpers? We need several people to be the balls though. But like <laughs> you will, you'll be the bumpers. All right, perfect. Now we just need the now we just need the ball. But but also we need like a couple people like on on the sideline like that we can call up that for for multi ball. Cuz like one person can't play all of the balls. That's not how it works. Only one person gets to be each person gets to be one ball and like the multi ball player like the multi ball our peers, like, they're they're usually people with, like, families. So, because they can't be as present, right? I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I think I'm losing it. Is it like a long-term thing? Yeah, yeah, no. You don't just like... You're in STEM right now. I've lo I lost it a long time ago. So I'm in STEM fucking hucking bottles at monsters. See, he sank that ball. He was role-playing as the player on the machine, but he wasn't familiar with the cabinet, and he missed the skill shot. Oh, what the fuck? That was kind of cool. She wasn't part of the role-play. She, she wasn't part of it. That's why she caught me off guard. It's 
This is stupid. This game is a way to break character. <laughs> Maybe she was like trying to roleplay as like an angry Karen, but like we didn't have a slot open for that. So looks like they had extra security for this place. You can't just like insert new characters. That's not how pinball RP works. Due to sensitive nature of experiments being conducted, the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives with the proper Unity Cerebral Chip designation. Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non-disclosure tenants as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment. As outlined in the Mobius security bylaws, clearly she hasn't gone to a theater class like the rest of us. Haha, <laughs> right guys, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I just went to pinball roleplay class. It's a really specialized... Part of, the, part of the computer science game design degree, actually. Because, you know, like, you have to, like, be the code to understand the code, right? So, like, you gotta be the pinball machine to understand the pinball machine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. This bit's out of control. It's a bad bit. It's not even a good bit. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Okay, are we... To I was gonna say, what potential? Having it in the hands of a this shit's so stupid. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. Ba 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 Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god, I'm actually five fucking weapon parts off. That's so frustrating. Back again, detective. Strap on, Doc. I have zero funny keys. She's gonna say it. I was gonna- I fucking knew it. But you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about- 75,000. I mean, I guess I'll just save up for the, the fucking slow-mo ultra mega kill fuck. I don't know. Anything to get this bitch off my back. You need my assistance again. I do. I could use some information most of all. I sense that. But it's all I can sense at this juncture. What do you mean? There's something here that's making things murky for me. For everyone in here. Although there aren't many left in here to clear things up for. You're one of the last. But for how long? That's... ominous. <laughs> Let's get you taken care of. Shall we? Sorry, Stasha. I gotta wipe your eyes. Ed, hold on.
She had all the old goopy eye. That's so much better. All right, let's go. Oh, God. Resident Evil 4 laser hallway. All these tanks. What's this about? That's cool. These are cool little shots. Touch. Don't touch. Don't do it, it's a trap! Explodes. Huh. Can't pass through without one of those chips. God, it's so scary. Here somewhere. Our efforts have been These are cool shots. Oh god, did you hear that sound? <laughs> we have begun to observe a new unexpected side effect of STEM integration in certain Union citizens. The symptoms begin simply enough. Small mental breaks triggered by vestigial memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories, which leaves them in a state of confusion. Rewriting, rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Oh, that was my phone. I thought that was my cat vibrating. Like, Jesus Christ, how did she even do that? <laughs> uh, confusion, rewriting the, yeah, the measure. Their new union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon, these small breaks develop into complete disassociation and eventually totally physical metamorphosis. This phenomenon is currently affecting only 0.005% of the populace, but it's troubling nevertheless. Much was learned from the Beacon incident. But STEM is still experimental technology. We are isolating our studies while we continue to expand Union. It is imperative that we stop this before it escalates. Oh, that's actually such a sick shot. Grah! Grah! You know what else pinballs? This game's quality. I agree. You know, before when I was in the marrow, I was at least like, thank God we're not in an open world segment. But now this is just like such bland linear segment. And like very much same issue, you're so fucking cracked out. In terms of like your abilities. That this shit is so like bossy co.
I like how she stood up for that. Whatever. Are these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? This is a pretty creepy area. Oh my god, are they just hucking him over the damn edge? Looks like it goes down forever. Oh, it's the bottomless pit. That the bottomless pit inspector inspects. Yup, still bottomless. <laughs> Checks pit. It's bottomless. It's lonely in here and creepy. Pit observatory. Wait, I was joking. <laughs> Dumping these bodies, these things into this pit and they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? Been hearing things, voices coming from the pit, but that can't be. But if they aren't coming from the pit, then they're in my head. And that's even worse. Oral hallucination is one of the symptoms, but I can't be infected. It's not a virus or bacteria. It's a mental thing that only infects citizens who have memories have been rewritten. At least that's what they told me. Shit, I've got to keep it together. Just loneliness, loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. Not the phenomenon. Oh no. It's coming. I got to get out. What's of here. coming? A flashlight lady? What is that? <laughs> you excuse me? Holy shit. Holy shit! Yes, hello, Stasha.
God, that shit keeps scaring me. Man, I, I'm gonna say it. This stuff moving around doesn't look great. It's really, really stiff. Oh yeah, super neat segment on paper. But, I mean, it was kind of cool starting off. But yeah, it, it overstayed its welcome. Which is saying something, because it, it wasn't even here that long. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? <laughs> That's the Castellanos way, baby. If you ain't kicking them doors, are you a true Castellanos? Jesus! It's crazy how broken stealth is. I can't break the glass? I can't hop through the broken glass? I wonder if he'll be able to see me. Alright, he sees me. No more playing around. It was worth it was worth a shot. Cause it would have been really funny. I like how much dust came off that door. I actually really, really like that. Ooh, another file. <clears throat> Irregularity studies. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to study it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. 
They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the Lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. When they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. Them is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The Lost phenomenon is, therefore, a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they even entered STEM. Further research is needed. Damn, that's not good at all. Nice. You'll love to see it. Door kickers stay winning. All right, you were supposed to not see me. <laughs> I want to throw another bottle at him. Why have bottles become my fucking strongest weapon? Why is every game I'm playing except Battle Network just come down to hucking things at people? In Prey, I can just huck objects at people. In this, I just huck objects at people. Honestly, even in Battle Network, just like hucking air hockey pucks at people works pretty damn well. That's just what guns are. I guess you're not wrong. I'm still really sad. What do we have here? That uh the second part to the assignment, what the assignment and the consequence, right? So the consequence wasn't the most over the top action in survival horror history. I'm so sad. They should have just gone all out. 
Our worst fears have been realized. The loss phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We had theorized that the transformation were a result of memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. But we were able to quarantine and terminate an affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. Relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code 0128. Move this guy's chip yet. I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh god, it's gonna just drill into his fucking brain. Poor bastard. God, this sounds horrible. I hate it. This is disgusting. Well, look, there's his chip just laying on the floor. Brain smoothie. Oh, thank God he's already dead. <laughs> I gotta get out of this lab. Seb really... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Seb really just says what we're all thinking, like, 90% of the time. And I love him for it. Oh, she's already dead. Oh, they're all down there. Oh, well, that one's coming up here. Oh. Please. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw something. I'm fucking up this stinky. I'm fucking up the girl who stinks good. I'm sorry, girl who stinks good. Oh god, she's she's fucking hauling ass. Arrow number two. That one should finish the job. Oh, maybe not. Do they got more health? Okay, no, no, no. It did finish the job. I'm gonna say it only takes two arrows to, to kill him. <laughs> She's like, oh fuck, what was that? <laughs> she 
<laughs> she was stumbling after that one. Sister was not having a good time. Why are her eyes so fucking far apart? <laughs> How is she still alive? Fucking took her out like a fucking quarterback. Holy shit. The stealth kills are so silly. Damn it. What are you doing, you dumb bitch? <laughs> so, it's so overpowered. It's not even fair. Like, if enemies have the displeasure of existing anywhere in your vicinity, they're just fucked. He's so dead. He's so dead. Arama said sh should sue this for blatant not to knee rip off. I think I know what one you're talking about. The yeah, the just the girl in the dress, right? With the fucking long, the wide ass forehead. Don't be, don't be trout face.
I think there is a syringe over here. I don't actually remember. I know there's a syringe somewhere. I just cannot remember where it is. It must be in here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in that little medical box. Oh, I thought that was a little medical box. There it is. Definitely not. We've been here for so long. I must be getting close to max shotgun ammo. And I am at max shotgun ammo. More shotgun ammo? Or shotgun ammo? There's something something crazy is gonna go down here. I it's gonna be a fire, dude. I gotta fight the flaming the flaming warfer. So my theory is I gotta freeze him and then pump damage into him. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. This is is this O'Neal? Liam! Don't! What do you mean, Liam? Stay back! <laughs> this is cool as fuck. Oh fuck yes! showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Alright, this is tight as fuck. Change like me. 
I don't know where he is. There he is. So cool. This is cool. This is cool as fuck. I like this a lot. Hey, over here, dumbass. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yo, that was badass! I bumped into the wall. Uh oh! Oh, I was going to say, that looks like a tripwire. Oh, wait. He's just glitching the fuck out. That's what's happening here. Got it. I hope I'm doing this fight right. I'm hoping that he just was unkillable the first time I like all of his clones. I won't let him get away. I promise. But I could run from this loser all day. I'm also out of, like, breezy stuff. And it seems like the water doesn't do anything. I'm actually gonna use my silenced handgun ammo. I missed. Yes, Father I told him. Okay, well, it'll stop you now then, dickhead. Because it sure doesn't seem like water. Okay, it was bullets. Yo.
Ow. Oh, he's his he's chasing me. We got one bullet and a dream. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Hey, I still have a lot of shotgun ammo. Yeah, my man's is taking uh, quite a bit of ammo here. I'm uh, pretty drained. God, did you see my fucking laser sight in the cutscene? Poor O'Neill. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. There's a machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? Yo! How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but he heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. 
I'm sorry, Stasha. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. Mm -hmm. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Broken flamethrower. Great. Oh, the weapon seems to use custom-made parts, so you'll probably need to find a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You have a feeling that you're not going to find one just lying around, though. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts... Yes, Master. Of course. I like how this whole place is just still vaguely on fire. I'm not happy. I don't like that it used up all of my goddamn ammo. Are you kidding me? It's fucking evil out there. There's evil within too. She just spawned in behind me. That was terrifying. Wild. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. That shit looks like a turbo bomb. I don't think I have any more slides, but I totally forgot. I do have one more. Uh, hello? Hello? Um... No. Not like this. Not like this. No! The game's stuck! Not like this! Oh, autosave. Autosave, autosave. Please, God. It's the evil! Oh, thank Christ. I just gotta go run and get my handgun ammo. Look, all the fire is gone, too. But it seems that that extra handgun ammo is also gone. Flames. 
flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts... Yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should. There we go. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened, of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I could. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. That's scary. That's scary. Told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Hope you made it out. Didn't want to kill him, but Theodore left me no choice. All right, let's see what we can fabricate. Probably some more bullets. Let's make uh, seven bullets. Oh, it's a whole sniper rifle cartridge for eight. But it's probably only one shot, right? Two fuel tanks. Uh, can I upgrade anything? I don't really get sniper bullets anymore, so... A thousand? I'll probably save up for that. can't stay away from me can you you just can't stay away from me can you i swear if she says it there's nothing wrong oh my else. god but you can't avoid fighting forever maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. i she's gonna make me lose it i know my office is relaxing but it's no place to loiter <sighs> Backseaters SMH. Oh my god, you're right. That's just what she is. She's just a fucking backseat gamer. She's been telling me to upgrade my goddamn combat skills the whole fucking game. Oh my god. That's it for tonight, though. I'm pretty excited to play again. I don't know. I, I, it feels like we're reaching the end. I think there's going to be no more. Whatchamacallit. I think we're done with open world, and that makes me excited.
So GG's.